Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to try out some JLo Beauty skincare that was sent to me in PR. I do have those products on underneath my makeup right now. So if you'd like to find out more then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. So I wanted you guys to see how this looks underneath makeup. I wasn't sure what I was going to do today, but I definitely wanted to try these three products. So I have tested them out for you guys. I did receive these products complimentary, but I wanted to actually test them out here on my channel. I'm going to share some information with you all about these products and try it on before applying my makeup, but this is what it looks like underneath makeup. So without further delay, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Here's the lovely PR package that I received. It says to be youthful and timeless at every age, you deserve skincare that works as hard as you do. I would agree with this. I can actually tell a difference in my skin, even now in comparison to when I started my YouTube channel, I've increased my usage of quality skincare and my skin looks better and has fewer wrinkles in certain places than it did when I was younger, eight years ago. The mini That J-Lo Glow Serum is 0.5 ounces or 15 mils of product. This mega rich serum is a multitasking powerhouse. Think surface tightening and lifting you can feel immediately meets all day hydration and instant star glow. This is the mini that big screen broad SPF 30 moisturizer. It is 0.5 ounces or 15 mils of product. This ultra light whipped sunscreen protects from UVA and UVB rays, plus fights street pollutants, free radicals, and blue light damage. Boosted by licorice root, a natural soother with a brightening effect, and a curated blend of hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and natural sugars, it also packs hydration for a smoother, dewier, glowier complexion. I also have That Star Filter Complexion Booster in warm bronze. I have 0.5 ounces or 15 mils of product. On the JLo Beauty website, it says our weightless booster in warm bronze visibly boosts skin's radiance with light bouncing mineral pigments and a wash of tone even in color. Wear this ultra blendable, ultra sheer vitamin E packed formula alone over or under makeup mixed with that booster hydrating cream, your favorite foundation or even body lotion. The possibilities are endless and so's the glow. When I read about the serum, it said to make sure that it is fully absorbed into the skin prior to applying the moisturizer. So here we go. We'll put it here. I'm just gonna start with the one pump. I don't wanna waste it all. <laughs> Let's see if one is enough. I'm not sure if I smell a fragrance or not. Like, I think it doesn't have any fragrance. I feel like whatever I'm smelling is whatever's in the product itself. It says to apply these products to your bare skin, but I did apply an essence prior to applying this product. And the essence oftentimes kind of preps your skin for absorbing skincare. So I do have that on. I want to put a little bit more. I'm going to put like a half a pump. Because I feel like didn't really get here. And I like to apply it to my neck. And I do feel like a little bit of a tackiness with the serum but not uncomfortable just a little bit of tackiness love this packaging i love the rose gold this is just really beautiful now we're going to apply the mini spf moisturizer and when i spread this on my hand just now it felt so creamy so i can't wait to apply it 
to my face and I'm just gonna take some off of the top here and I really wanted to apply this today underneath makeup to see how it wears under makeup I mean it is an SPF so it is intended to be worn during the day which means it should look good underneath makeup so I wanted to see how it performs when I make it. I mean, I'm already seeing a little bit of that JLo glow. So I'm very excited to try this, but I'm probably going to be light handed with it because when I applied that one full pump on my hand, it was a lot of glow. And even though this is going on underneath my makeup or that's how I'm choosing to do it today, I may try to see if I can apply a little bit on top just to see what it looks like. But right now I'm going to start off with underneath makeup. And I don't want it to be overpowering. So we're going to put a, like a little half a pump. Not too much this time. Start small. And I want to apply it to like high points here. And rub it in there. I'm going to apply a little bit more, like the smallest little dot here, just so I can kind of hit these areas where I ran out of product. So this is what it looks like on my bare skin. I can see how a person with perfect skin, flawless skin, could put on these three products and just go and look healthy and glowy and ready for the day. But I like wearing makeup, so I'm going to apply some makeup over this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and complete my makeup look, and I'll be right back for you to see how these products perform underneath makeup, and I will sum up my initial thoughts.
Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And wasn't sure if I was going to be able to save that foundation. It is quite light for me right now. I have been out in the sun a whole lot more in recent weeks, walking a lot outside, and am definitely darker <laughs> than this foundation. <laughs> but we saved it. We saved it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I put together a really quick makeup look. The serum feels really good on my skin. I think that the benefits of this serum will be seen over time as I use it. I hope to notice firmer skin and I hope to notice visibly improved skin. So I'll be sure to let you guys know if I see any changes in my skin after incorporating this serum. The moisturizer felt luxurious going on. I am so thrilled that it is an SPF. I always like applying SPF now, and because it's something you use every single day, it empties very quickly. So I am happy to add another SPF to my rotation, and I definitely like the way my skin feels right now. At this moment, it feels like it's a good daytime option to wear underneath makeup it doesn't feel heavy it feels lightweight and it doesn't feel like i'm going to experience any significant oiliness as the day goes on but i will definitely be sure to update you in the description box if i have any issues throughout the day with this getting oily but so far so good it feels really good underneath my makeup right now i really like this warm bronze product i feel like i'm going to know how well i really like this as the day goes on whenever i wear glowy products underneath makeup i usually notice this type of product more as the day goes on and as your natural oils begin to come through you will begin to notice that beautiful glow so i will be be sure to give you guys an update in the description box about how this product worked throughout the day but right now it looks good it feels good I really enjoyed putting this on underneath my foundation I also applied the warm bronze as my highlighter today I didn't apply any other highlighter I really wanted to see what this looked like on top I was confused <laughs> during the application i used a fan brush i didn't mention this earlier but i am going to film a favorite brush video when i finish this video and i have 
had to put my makeup on with other makeup brushes because I didn't want to use those. So I was using a fan brush. I haven't used this brush in a while. I didn't want to apply too much. So I was really being kind of light handed and it was just a little tricky figuring out how to use this best. Sometimes it's a little difficult to apply a liquid product on as a highlighter on top of powder. So you gotta have some experience, some patience. Sometimes people use a beauty sponge. I did go back over everything with the sponge, but I was basically trying to use a fan brush with this product. I felt like using this on top of makeup caused me to use way more product. I felt like I had to pump out a good amount in order to be able to saturate my brush in order to get it on the cheeks and high points of my face. So I probably most of the time will use this as a pump in my foundation to give my foundation a glow or I'll apply it like I did previously underneath my makeup versus using it on top because I just felt like I had to use more than I would have wanted to and I will probably run out sooner by applying it that way because you just got to make sure you get enough on the brush you know I applied it to my hand then used my brush and a lot was left on my hand at the end so I probably won't use it that way in the future but I wanted to see what does it look like on top and it is beautiful so right now I don't want to use it that way but once I watch this video back I may say nope nope we're gonna have to make the sacrifice we're gonna have to use it underneath makeup and on top of because it does give a very natural finish a natural glow it doesn't look as dramatic as a powder highlighter looks it looks a lot more subtle and natural like it could be my natural glow but so far so good i really really have a good first impression of this product as well i made sure to kind of use a more matte foundation even though this one is too light <laughs> I used a matte foundation today and I don't have a lot of my other foundations with me so I used this one by L'Oreal and I wanted to see you know how much glow will I notice underneath my makeup like I can see it right here and of course I did add it on top so it just looks really nice I'm gonna wear this throughout the day I'm not gonna do a check-in with you guys but if there is anything that I feel like I need to give you as an update I will put it in the description box but right now it looks good underneath makeup and it feels good it doesn't feel heavy I really am pleased with how my makeup has turned out with these products underneath. Thank you again to JLo Beauty for gifting these three products to me. I'm really, really grateful and I'm happy with the results and cannot wait to continue to use these. So I hope that you all have enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.